Welcome back. It's uh, 1030 across the Delaware Valley. This portion of the program brought to you by Rite Aid. Find all of your favorite goods from the store nearest you, Rite Aid. I need to go there afterwards to fix my ankle. I need Motrin right now. <laughs> what did you do? What did you do? Dude, uh, uh, it, it, did I show you the picture? You didn't Harry Maze yourself, did you? Walking down a green and break your ankle? Did I show you the picture? No. Oh, no. You you be, did you blow out your Achilles? Yes, Not I've done long. that. Yes, <laughs> I've done that. Um, Getting old sucked. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, there, oh, there we go. All right. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, oh, what did you, what do? you do? That's my ankle yesterday morning. Oh. Yeah. So, were, you, were you hooping in the driveway? No, like, well, pri- that, prison listen, rules with the boys? You, you, like, you, what you, you know what's nuts <laughs> is that, no, it's worse because... <laughs> By the way, is this great? Not you know. Right. We get our reunion. I freaking love it. <laughs> the bro, Johnny, and uh, me. It's so much fun. That's us, by the way. <laughs> Someone did that, right? Look at Johnny in the middle. Oh, Baldy. Oh, Baldy's there. Vi, and Vi's in there. Vi, Vi and Baldy. Johnny in the middle. Bro uh, and me on the end. That's great. That's us, right? Broad the Broad Street, Street Boys. boys. <laughs> right. yeah. Forgot that's about fantastic. that. Awesome. Right. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. So. Saturday, like I got through a whole season um, with uh, coaching basketball, and I was fine. I, I couldn't believe it, to be honest with you. So Saturday, uh, Moss was playing at Ripken in Aberdeen, Maryland. Yeah, so I, saw I, saw the the, uh, yeah I saw the Instagram. Which is freaking it's gorgeous. Awesome, yeah. right? It's unbelievable. Uh, so I, I'm walking to get a, It's freezing, and it starts to rain. So I'm walking to get a cup of coffee. <laughs> Dude, I so Tooch came with me. So my buddy Tooch. What do you say, Tooch? Yeah, and so we're walking, and it, you know what? There's like a rock area with picnic tables. Yeah. I didn't see a curb. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Dude. Now, I usually wear like bigger like basketball sneakers. I had low-top sneakers on for some unknown reason, and I just completely just flipped Oof. my ankle. I turned it, and I fell down. Oh, how many people are around? Oh, uh, like I love watching people fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you do. That's one of his <laughs> favorite places. I love it. He loves to watch people fall down. You would have cracked up later. I would have died. I, you would have loved it, right? Like I wish I could reenact it. My ankle's killing me. Like I literally fall down. Like talk about embarrassment, right? I'm looking up. I see one of the moms. Oh, and she's looking at me with the pity in her face. <laughs> Nobody took a picture of you. They didn't dance. No, Tooch was like looking at me like, and I was like, hey, help me up. <laughs> Tooch. Help me up, man. That's Please funny. help me up. Were you okay? I don't know. I, I figured. You got to elevate it and ice that bad boy. I know. I know. I figured. <laughs> I Luckily, I got the Rothman doctors in my nice. back pocket. All right. Like, they're my people. Well. The right. Best. Shout out to Dr. Pedowitz and Kenneth. My boy, Kenny. I love Ken. Uh, but. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I'm going to give it a couple days and see. If <laughs> maybe it'll, that's about right. <laughs> right it'll, it'll. I threw my back out two weeks ago, and my, uh, my mm. wife ratted me out to my mom. And you know how they all just like gang up. With, you got to go to urgent care. You got And I was like, if I'm fu- if I'm not better by right. Wednesday, yeah. I'll go see somebody. You got to give it a couple days because yeah. who knows? It could be nothing, right? Yeah, right. Like, and it was. Just straight and, and ankles. You, it's the colors of the rainbow. Yeah. So what? Yeah. It goes away. I remember, I remember he had... It had a toothache, and it, it, it was it was so bad. He literally, you couldn't even be on the air. It, it hurt so bad. Oh my god, it's my like, face is, was like out the here. It's like, is this the point where you go to the dentist? Or like, what else do we have to do here? Dude, that was the worst pain. Yeah, and the, you the were, toothache. Oh my tooth god, pain is the worst. Yeah. It was a, a shard of uh, the tooth broke up in the root, oh, and it was like out the. It still oh. hurt. Like, like yeah. thinking about it hurts. I mean, it was, oh, that was bad. I got a crown falling apart right now, but insurance won't cover it only every five years. And it was like four years and three months. Ah, so I got to so wait it out. You're <laughs> sucking it up. I love it. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. That's a good move. See, this is the kind of great talk that you got every morning yeah. on the show. <laughs> yep. Did idiots. you walk up? Did you notice that we, our elevator was out? Yeah, and VG came and got me, and, and I, I tried to sprint. I bragged. I said, I'm exercising these days. I'm doing yeah, you look trim, high, good. high interval, inter, uh, interval training, <laughs> high intensity interval training. I get to the third floor, and I'm like, is this the seventh? I'm like, oh, <laughs> it's the third. 
I made it to the fifth today before I had to take a break. Oh, good. It's been fourth the past two days. Look at that. I'm I'm getting better. Oh, that's fantastic. So is this normal that things break around here? Yeah. 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 You see the leaks? There's leaks all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, the buckets. (laughs) Yeah, the buckets come down. It's an old building. It's a great building. It's cool. It is. It is cool, right? Yeah. But, like, you got... Old buildings, you get holes. Landlords on on top of it, ready to <laughs> yeah, yeah. to spring into action. Well, to we fix we got a lot of buckets. Yeah, a lot yeah, of beer buckets. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah, no, yeah. but it brings character to the sure to the operation. Does. Exactly, yeah. exactly. The elevator, though, with my foot, with my oh. ankle, oh, that's right. <laughs> and and the steps because it's an old building, so the Steep. steps, right. They're not, and I had yeah. I'm gonna have Saquon thighs feet. by the end of this. Right, yeah, you'll be like, hey, you know, no, I, 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 let's go, let's go, here it is. <laughs> you know what, Johnny? Johnny and I were talking about, bro, the gas station. Uh, how great cuisine? Was it? Yeah, do you remember that morning where John's out? And he's like, right, all right, now I'm gonna route the bite into uh, an incredible burrito oh. from the Luke Oil. Yeah. <laughs> And it was so burning <laughs> so hot. freaking awesome. And you, you bite it, and it squirts out the side uh, and ends up on your hand. You're like, like lava. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good times. Good times. Now, are you still... Uh, l- let's look at your, your cuisine. Yeah. <laughs> should get like, some factor like, meals you, up in Like, there. what are you doing? So my blood sugar got low last night. I'm type 1 diabetic. It got low, and whenever my blood sugar gets low in the middle of the night or, like, when it wakes me up, I'll go eat, like, 4,000 calories of food. Because the natural feeling in your body is eat, eat, eat. I had like three quarters of a loaf of bread, peanut butter, and jelly. Uh, those fruit snacks that you get from oh, the you gotta get the Uncrustables, throw them in the air fryer. And, and, and then my well, not at not at twelve thirty at night. Yeah. I just ate everything, <laughs> chocolate covered pretzels, and then I'm like, and then my blood sugar was like, oh, is awesome. Yeah, item. that the Ashers, whew, it's a fine item. And it was good. Yeah. So then my blood sugar is like six hundred when I wake up at three o'clock in the morning, and I'm, I'm even worse off. Yeah. So everything's so you great. Go from zero to six hundred. Right. Yeah. right. So to answer your question, everything's great. My diet's great. <laughs> <laughs> everything's going well. Oh, that's fabulous. Uh, so did you like the Olipop? Dude, let me tell you something. Like, and when you were talking about cherry coal, I still remember the old cherry coke commercial. Oh yeah. Had. Ooh, cha 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 cherry coke, <laughs> outrageous. Wasn't David it's, Byrne behind like that or Wild Cherry Pepsi or something? Like, probably, I think but he because I, because I, I only drink diet soda, I, I wouldn't even know what a regular soda tasted like. It would taste so sweet. So this yeah. is really good. Yeah, yeah, it, it's actually and it's good for you. Yeah, it's so, good. It, it's just sweet it's enough. Very tasty, it yeah. contains twelve percent juice, which is important. Juice, Jamie. juice, juice. That's so good. I'm gonna do a root beer float with one of those. Dude, that Anthony, I do it for Anthony. He yeah, loves it. He hmm. freaking yeah, loves I do. It. Uh, Look at the bro. So the bro's climbing set. Now you know that the the elevators are out. Yeah. But look at his feet. <laughs> like show, the, show the people your feet. Hey, I, hey, I charge for this on Feet Finder. All right. <laughs> right. That's right. <laughs> now I'm in the big boy section you, you know on what, Feet though? Finder. I gotta say, his feet look a lot nicer than mine. Yeah, but, I take care of them. But dude, I take the pumice stone to it. Dude, it, it, it's inappropriate footwear, knowing that. Knowing it. The elevator's out. Well, I had the girls late for school this morning. I was rushing out the door, and I thought my clogs were at the front door, and I was just going to slip in and go. They weren't there. I didn't have time to go look. Are you Flip. headed to the country club after leaving here? That's how you I look. wish. Uh, the flops were there, so I just went with it. I didn't really th- I don't it's think. Cold, it's cold and wet out, and he's wearing flip-flops. I don't think and too hard gonna... about these things. I mean, you look good. Well, no, no. He, nice and, and, and the only thing I'm shocked is you're not wearing shorts. <laughs> yeah, not yet. Soon. I think after this weekend. The salmon. Does he still have the salmon <laughs> shorts in rotation? <laughs> Do you remember the best was going to Chicago and we were going to draft? What up, Rev? <laughs> Tell the story about him and the Reverend. We were dressed. So we're at the, what's, what's the name of that theater? It's Rose, Roosevelt Theater. Yeah, yeah. So we're in Chicago. We're in this. It's the draft. It's the Wentz draft. Yeah. The yes. Wentz wagon. The Wentz yes. draft. <laughs> So the year before, we were going to go to Hawaii to get Marcus Mariota. That, yeah. that didn't happen. <laughs> so we're in Chicago at the draft, and we're dressed like idiots. Well, you weren't. But Jamie and I were. He you had, had the Zubas. I had the Zubas, and the jersey. Randall jersey, and an Eagles like beanie. I looked. I looked like if you searched me, I'd be going the <laughs> going to jail. And uh, and so we're we're at the draft, and we're what was this at the end of it when we were leaving? Yeah. But we're just walking through this theater, and Jesse Jackson's approaching us, walking towards us, and, and Jamie sees him and goes, "Yo, Rev, big fan. Can I get a pick?" 
<laughs> we have it somewhere. Dude, Dude, you sent it to me. I sent it to you. It was funny because let me see if I can he, find he this. He asked like it was like I don't know. It could have been you know <laughs> Bill Belichick standing there. We we pregame the draft, so you know I was a yeah, little lubricant. Yeah, so we weren't a little bit. R- right. I think we the rev sober. was. No, too. he was he was whacked out of his mind, and he's, he was like, <laughs> oh, "Yo, rev, big fan." Like, <laughs> can, can I get a pick? <laughs> the best is big fan. I get a pick. <laughs> First time, yeah. long time, bro. Yeah. And, and, thick, and huh? he was cool. He was like, he actually was very cool. Yeah, yeah. he was cool, but yeah. he also looked like he had just. What <laughs> he, he's, saying, looking at, it, he's looking at him and like, come on, he's like whacked out. Right? <laughs> he's got the zoo bob. He's going, is this guy he's like, what's up with this dude? His security was looking at me. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. 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 security. Get ready to pounce. But he had this wrinkled suit on too. I think we were we were both surprised that he wasn't. He, he no, wasn't, he wasn't pressed. Yeah, yeah. He, exactly. No, he looked. He's true. He's off the rack. It Come was on, right? really <laughs> true. Like you just left it's the NFL it. draft in your yeah, home city. Yeah, like, you, yeah. 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 you gotta come represent. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, with the road coming in. And we took the picture. Face. Every yeah. every year it comes when it comes up on my thing, I send it to Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I'll, I'll find it. I'll find it was oh uh, my god, I just wanted I just That wanted was a cry. great trip. I, I gotta I gotta see I'm sitting here and I'm just getting, you know, like the memories are just flooding back and it's like the three of us. Talking about and you know the Wentz Simmons thing, like how nuts. Yeah, the dose. Of, it, it was funny. We were talking about it earlier. Gosh. The two of them showed flashes, right? And yet they showed like not they 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 stunk. They were both really good and promising. And you don't get a Super Bowl without Wentz, right? So it's like you almost don't regret it, but and, it blew up in your face. And, and, and God. yeah, and then they become horrible, like beyond or. The two of the biggest, worst dudes ever come through here. Passing up the dunk, you know, the whole thing. Not showing up to practice. The other one crying about everything. He wins the Super Bowl and he's a crybaby. And then he stinks. Then he, the guy's wide open right in front of me. You don't see him. Totally. He, it, it's amazing how fast they totally got cooked. I know Carson's in in, in Kansas City, yeah. side with Andy or whatever. He will never be a, He will never be a starting quarterback again. He's spooked. And Ben Simmons, you I was actually talking about this, I think, last night. We forget Ben Simmons was a really good yes, player. Yeah. He was a really good player. He, we, he never he wasn't taking jump shots, and we knew that that wasn't a part of his game, but he was aggressive. He wasn't afraid to take foul shots at that time. Once he got spooked about yeah. going to the line and they were intentionally fouling him, he was done, and he he'll was, never recover. He he'll was never done. recover. You're right. And it was all that. Mm-hmm. It was he was so afraid to get fouled. I mean, he quit with the pass the ball. Yep. Wasn't Nick Nurse one of the first guys to implement that? Yes. yes. Yeah. It was, I mean, it was it fascinating. Was, uh, because Miami could, and Toronto. He couldn't wait to too. pass the ball. Yeah. He would get the ball and right away away and pass it. He'd be aggressive. Now, he wasn't great finishing at the rim, but he was he was aggressive in getting to the basket. He'd throw up that stupid floater or if whatever this he would dude do. could just shoot foul shots, right? Like, And we go back to it. His dominant hand. Yeah, Jason two do- Kidd. Two dominant hands. Jason Kidd developed a three-pointer where he was actually a good three-pointer towards the end of his career. Yeah. That, that should have been Ben. He couldn't. Jason Kidd couldn't shoot a lick. But he could shoot foul shots, and he was unstoppable. Like he, he actually was a great passer and a great handle. Like if you think about no, his, it, is a shame his talents. Like he had talent, and the other one had just as much talent. The Wentz had a cannon of an arm. He did. He was mobile, right? He was a great athlete. He was Josh Allen. Yep. He should have been Josh Allen, really. And Un- like we talk about those those quarterback sneaks. They were on like they converted all. To, we talk about touch push and all. They always converted a Wentz sneak. Yeah, it, it, it's amazing how that Josh Allen can't find this damn photo. I if I had, I if, I, if I had my phone, I, I would have yeah. it. We'll, we'll Instagram well, it or, or tweet it out. <laughs> yeah. do, do the PHLY account. But um, they, it just one Josh Allen stays healthy somehow with all the contact he takes on. It's an, almost impossible. Once Wentz started getting hurt, and then it went to the mental side. But man, his body really broke down. But it's a shame because, by all accounts, very intelligent, rocket of an arm, great athlete. It's a, it is amazing. Both of those, you look back then, you would never have believed that it would have fallen apart like it did. Both those guys. It's uncanny. And so now we're blessed. And let me throw this at you guys. And I want to play a little game with you guys. Like, do you believe? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, Bryce Harper. It, we think about stars and, and guys that were on a – Cusp of maybe being a, a superstar, right? and then there's Bryce Harper, yeah, who just 
delivers in the biggest moments, mm -hmm. who has these epic moments like the other night, like, you know, three home runs, a grand slam, and it's dramatic. And he's freaking awesome. Yeah. But like, he's just a great dude. He loves it here. He's he, he's everything you would want as a face of a franchise. Yeah. And if you stopped him at Home Depot, he's going, what's up? Let's get, get a selfie. Yep. Yeah, like getting Kelsey to sign his cleats when he threw out the first pitch. Well, like, yeah. he just gets it no, from and every it's, aspect. And it's genuine. The, yeah, the, you're right. Talking it's about, not like, pandering. He goes down the he goes down to Avalon during during the All Star break last year. He's at Uncle Bill's Pancake House taking pictures mm. with all the employees and stuff, and he's doing it with a smile on his face. Because Uncle Bill's he he, 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 ge he genuinely, you know, it's you've worked in and you're more of a journalist than obviously Jamie and I will ever be, <laughs> but like you kind of get. You look you 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 end up rooting for storylines and stories more than rooting for your teams when you're yeah. like in the because you want things to talk about you want mm -hmm. good things to talk about but ultimately you always want your team to win but it kind of it kind of hardens you to players and as you get older and you see a lot of players you're kind of Bryce Harper is like I'm a kid with Bryce Harper I I he is he's well every said. he's everything that this city needs in a superstar athlete he knows that it's his team he, and and he wants it. To be his team. And he pushes ownership to be better. Dude, and, and he's and he's good. Like you had yeah. said, is anybody surprised he hit three home runs the other night after no. starting the season 0-11? No. 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 And he hits that. He 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 hits a grand slam. He swings 3-1. And it's like, oh, come on, take that, Bryce. And he hits a home run almost yeah. the same pitch, the, the next pitch. I said this to uh, Tyler and Renee on the Philly show. There's a really good chance, if injury doesn't derail him, that he's a 2,000-run scored guy in Major League history. There's only eight of them ever. Yeah, that's insane. Eight. That's insane. And he's got a real shot at it. He's that good of him a player. And it'll be him and Schmidt. When he's done playing, it'll be Mike Schmidt, Bryce he's, Harper. He's got to get that cool. ring, though. To he be does. Honest, to be yeah, honest, sure. I mean, Schmidt had 10 Without gold gloves. Well, you know, like, well, that's, that's probably, why, that's that's why probably Schmidt the big. Won. Yeah. But he can get close if he gets a, a, a world title ring, mm -hmm. a World Series ring. Definitely. Definitely. All right. Uh, I want to play a game, do you believe, in, in players in just a second. Uh -oh. But I got to get you to daily grind. Uh, we're going to be hitting the grind with... Uh, Brought to you by Bet Parks and the Bet Parks app. Make sure you download it. There, always great stuff with the Bet Parks app. Uh, Jamie, nine NC State is getting nine from Purdue in the tournament. See, I that feels like a big number. It does. Um, Purdue feels like a choke team to me, and I've been wrong so far this tournament. But I don't know. I, I my dumb brain goes, do I see Purdue hoisting a title? No, I don't. So, right. like, but why can't NC State do it? And, and they're they're rolling, John. You have an opinion on that game? I would go NC State. With I the my, the, the, what you first said was the line. The line is like, yeah, it's telling you Purdue's gonna whatever. right. It's a fat but, line. Yeah, it's a fat line. But it's just there's something uninspiring when you watch Purdue play. And yeah, Chris Zidi, Zidi, I hate like, the face for me. And, they, for and sure. they play. Yeah, he's like, I'll break mm, your. Yeah, he's a he, robot. Yeah, he he reminds you of of drag of, of uh, Drago. Yeah, but I, I mean, you know, it, it's. Not like NC State, it, 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 they've been hot, right? Like the yeah. whole reason they're in the tournament the is fire. they got hot. So they don't look like a team that the moment's going to be too big for in the in the final four. So. Yeah. But you, it's a big and, line. And UConn, yeah, you roll just, UConn. Yeah, they're, 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 they're winning. winning. They're winning it all. They're winning it all. Yeah, yeah. They they definitely have the they have the UNLV. They've covered ten straight yeah. tournament games. It's just so much the better than they've been. Like, was I've never seen right? anything they're like never. it. Never, never seen anything. And like some it. of these spreads are like north of thirteen all the time, and yeah. they're covering ten straight. Yeah. It's yeah. wild. Yeah. yeah, it is. It's wild. All right, uh, I want to play. Do you believe with the guys? And I'll start with. Do you believe in the Flyers just to make the playoffs? Like we know, we're all excited. Uh, the fly guy, I think I, I like they're in the right direction. I love Jonesy, Bri, Bri, Danny, and what they've done so far. But do you believe in them to make the playoffs, Jamie? John? Or I'm going to say no. I think five teams is a little little tight of a race there. Uh, I think you got you, Buffalo and Columbus coming up. Yeah, uh, I'm going to say no. But I'm a Zamboner, so don't put too right. much stock okay. well, in what I Right, that's why I said Jamie. <laughs> I, 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 I'll say yes, and I'll also say this. The fact that there's something to talk about that's not hockey and it's involving players or coaches on the team is really what someone like need me needs to get right. involved. And Tortorella is great for that. You're right, right. So right. I, I've been I've been enjoying this season. It's been good. How about the Russian freighter? Oh man, do you like the Russian it, freighter? It, it is. Uh, and then you start paying attention. You're like, there's some good players on this team. So I believe when they hired Jonesy that he's going to make this work. Yeah, he's the Ted Lasso of the yes. uh, of, yes. of the yes. NHL. Yes. He'll yes. figure it out. Yes, 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 yes. You're. Like, 
You like the Russian freighter, bro? Yeah. Fedotov, right? Not yes. Fedotov. No, Fedotov. Fedotov. Yes. Yeah, I gotta you know me and pronunciations. I gotta I gotta nail that one yeah, down. He's six eight, he's yeah. massive. What's he on skates? Like six, I, I was at the game the other night and he moves, man. Like he can move a little bit. Yeah. So he's interesting. Do you believe in Trey Turner? Yes. Yes. All right, so no. I mean, not defensively. In. Well, listen, he always is what he, he is. He looked like that last but he's year, too. He's gotten worse since yeah. the Dodgers. But he yeah. also he also looked like he looked like that last year, too, because I remember having the conversation last year. You're going to have to move him to second base. And then he, he – but to your point, he's not – he doesn't have the greatest range. He's not going to be the best defensive shortstop. If he's hitting 27, 28 home runs – and he got hot like he did last year. I mean, there was a different team. So, but so I think that now he's comfortable. We're going to have another Trey Turner type season like we saw last year. Don't ask me about Rojas. Do you believe in Rojas? No. I don't. I don't. I'm. I'm what happens? I'm waning. What, I, what happens? That, that Rojas give, becomes acceptable at the plate, or Marsh hits lefties. Marsh hits lefties. Or Pache, I think that I, I think by May first he's in the minors. I, I last night watching the game, yeah. he hasn't gotten a ball out of the infield in nineteen Wait, at he, bats. I I give him two more weeks, and he's got to go speak Amish, buddy. Like yeah, you got to go mean, to Lehigh. Honestly, he came up last speak year. Amish. He, <laughs> he came That's up. A good line. He came up last year out of desperation, and before the league knew it, he was hitting over three hundred, and he was. I mean, they were better with him playing. The defense was great. The speed was great. But then once you got to the playoffs and it's like, all right, hang on a second. Yeah. Let's take a look at this guy. How do we – just don't throw him fastballs. You know, like he's swinging at everything and he hasn't adjusted. So he he needs he needs more bats. If he can't figure this out, like Jamie said two weeks, I think two weeks is a good number. Yeah, I think that's fair. Because it's what's best there. for him at some point. Because yeah. he, can't, he can't drown at the major league level uh, and come out of it at some point. So like – No, you no, he's helpless up there right now. I mean, yeah. putting, him out there, putting him up there right now is not helping him. Yeah, and it's it's not good. Do you believe in Topper? Yes, because the players believe in Topper. And that's it might be a coward's answer, but when you hear those guys talk about him, they would go stab somebody for that man. It, it's not often that you get a manager after making a move in the playoffs that he'll say, like, you know, like, looking at it, maybe I would have done something different. And I think that's why people like him, because mm -hmm. he is – like just good dude, and because yeah, I, I, you should He's be Canadian. But you also like I hate when managers are like, no, I would do that same move. It didn't work. What do you mean you wouldn't think about doing something different? It's just admitting that that you were wrong or whatever. I he didn't do a great job managing the bullpen and making decisions last year. Putting Craig Kimbrell in in against the Diamondbacks was a was a huge mistake, and it felt like a huge mistake. But you know, like the one game they brought in Kirk Ring instead of Sir Anthony, and I would have done the same thing, and that blew up in his face. So. You know, it's tough. When when the guys perform, you look like a genius. When they don't, you're an idiot. But ultimately, I believe in them. Who do you believe in more, Topper or Sirianni? Oh, Topper. Topper. Wow, no faith in Sirianni. Uh, I wouldn't say no faith. I just have more in Rob. You, My faith has dwindled. I'll say that. Right. But. And we were talking about it earlier. I feel bad saying it, and I, I should feel bad saying it so quickly. But, like, I just, I don't know, man. I mean, how do you go from... I know. You know, he he's playoffs first year, Super Bowl second year, and ten and one he going should. into his third year, and then all of a sudden, they just have no faith in the dude. The, the 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 whole thing yelling at the fans in Kansas City last year, and just kind of like the 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 fraternity behavior that you see from him sometimes. I genuinely think he's a good dude, but bro, you're the CEO of a football team, right? Like you got to act like it yeah. because I think the players look at him and be like. Like, right. What is this? Do you think Jalen likes some of the crap? Well, I he's hear doing? like in the playoffs, players like him a lot. They do. Yeah. You know. They do. I mean, they. they but he's, he's got to get Your point is, you know, <clears throat> you're right. Like he's, he's he's not. He doesn't play the CEO. A little bit more. He he doesn't have to be like he's got to be himself, and I'm fine with that. But right. a little bit more. Last one. Do you believe in Vic Fangio? <laughs> What are, we, what, are we what are we talking about? Vic Fangio better, like, like, better like than he's Sean Payne. He's a of the defense because this defense, but by the way, has sucked. Mm -hmm. Even the playoff <laughs> year, yeah. even all those sacks, it was for bogus. Yeah, because um, good quarterbacks carved them carved up. Them. I, I I'm gonna say yes. I believe in him because he believes in linebackers and slot corners. And in the modern NFL, if you're ignoring that position, you're toast. Like, you have to have competence there. You don't have to have Ray Lewis, right. but you have to have guys that can can cover. And yeah. the Eagles haven't had that, and it's it's been their Achilles heel. So 
I'm going to say yes because he believes in those things. I'm going to, I'll compare him to Jim Schwartz. Remember, Jim Schwartz used to get his hair cut at the same place uh, that you did for a while, I think. And he always <laughs> yes, had, he he had that nice fresh haircut for he games, did. too, on Sunday. Y- yes, he did. Was that Dana? <laughs> Dana, that's right. <laughs> Dana still cuts my hair. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, like, Billy Davis had no business being a coordinator in the NFL, and you could see that when you watch those Eagles defenses. Schwartz came in right away, yeah. and you could tell, like, he's a professional. Nah, look what we did last year. Yeah, exactly. So I think that's what you're going to get from Fangio. But also realize this. This is also personnel based. Sure. If you don't have players that can play, Vic Fangio is not saving your defense. He's going to help him. He's going to help him. I believe in Vic Fangio, but they need better personnel on defense. All right. It's 2 30 in the morning, and you have $3 in your pocket. Mm-hmm. What are you eating? <laughs> oh, man. Can I get the jumbo slice from uh, Lorenzo's on South Street? All right. All that right. used to be $3. I don't know what it All is right, anymore. Let's just say you got $5. Uh, I'm going jumbo slice. So you go jumbo slice. Yeah. Five bucks. Yeah. It's six, six bucks. bucks. Six bucks in this economy. It's, it's a rip off. <laughs> it it's a rip off. You know how hard it is. You know how hard it is. Feed family. Oh my and god. And I got animals. Yeah. Animals. They eat. And they eat. <laughs> Chick fil A. Two Chick fil A sandwiches. Forty uh, nuggets. 40? And, and I mean, I could do that, but damn. And, and a vanilla shake. Oh, damn. Because it kills How's me. How's the bathroom after yeah, that? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I hope you have a good plumber. <laughs> oh, and the fries. Oh, but man. That's what he eats. Does he dip the fries in the milkshake? No, no, no. That's no, a vet no. move. You teach him that one. Yeah, no. He, it's just two. Two and the and the 40 count. Yeah, this country's lost its way. When a that's happy incredible. meal is like $12 anymore. I like, can't, come on, no, what McDonald's, are we doing? They kill you at McDonald's. Yeah, everywhere. I, it's horrible. Ten bucks. It used to be two ninety nine yeah. for the for the one or the, the two. And the value men had like six items at 99 cents. You supersize it, you're up it's to four the bucks. Worst. It's unbelievable. It like cost you $52. The other day it cost me $52 and I didn't eat. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like, there was literally them. I was like, I'll go home. There's a leftover slice of pizza. I'll we eat have that. something in the fridge. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, you got five bucks in your pocket. It's 2 30 in the morning. Oh, man. Probably going breakfast sandwich at Wawa. Solid. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. Bagel sandwich that's been under the light for yeah. mm-hmm. 36 hours. Yeah, so yeah, you, yeah. You, you have a ketchup packet back there. <laughs> Soft pretzels is always yeah, a good I one. You can it. pound up on those. VG, yeah. was that the, we, you were at the line today. Look at that. Wow. He got. Yeah, the pretzels, get the pretzels. Wow. Boys, I, I got to tell you, I just loved. Hanging yeah, it was with great. You. Yeah, awesome. Love, love hanging with you, man. Uh, Johnny, uh, I hope to see a lot more of you. Bro, of course. I'm going to uh, go complain about uh, the Phillies. I right, go complain about the Phillies.